They're such a vital part of our neighborhood. A group of concerned residents in Winnipeg are trying to keep this pool in St. Boniface filled, despite city plans to drain it for good in the preliminary budget. A petition is now circulating by community members who say that this critical amenity must stay afloat. Well, I think it's a big mistake. The pending closure of Happy Land Pool and three others is part of a larger plan from the city that will also decommission or replace another 20 waiting pools in the city in favor of a new splash pad program, billed at about 20 million. It, it promotes bonding, it's a place to cool off, um, it, it encourages socialization. Listing off reasons to keep the pool open. The closure gives South St. Boniface Resident Association member Teresa Quick a sinking feeling. Working to add names to a petition to save the pool to submit to council as budget discussions continue, she says based on the number of signatures, people want the pools to stay. They just feel that this is a, a big issue, not just for this area, but for the whole city. The uh, comments are there, there's not enough pools to, uh, in the city for everyone and they can't understand why they would shut down such a vital service. We were seeing uh, two, two pools being demolished and or proposed to be demolished and uh, not, not a new outdoor pool to replace them. So I see that as a, as a, as a net loss to outdoor aquatic rec services in Winnipeg. St. Boniface Councillor Matt Allard says he'll be trying to convince his council colleagues to join him in calling for the pools to be saved, saying he feels they're beneficial for both lower income residents in the area and will also serve as a safety amenity for seniors as temperatures in Winnipeg and across the globe continue to rise due to climate change. You know, a, a splash pad doesn't a pool make. Like, there's different demographics. A pool serves everyone. I don't want to sound cliche, but boy, if we had the funds to do it all, we would do it all. Mayor Scott Gillingham said the decisions to close the pools was not an easy one, and the move from the pools to splash pads will not only modernize the city's water feature stock, but may also prove cost-effective as well, as to refurbish the three pools comes with a price tag of up to $18 million. We have several weeks now before between the tabling of the budget and and us ultimately adopting the budget and these weeks are weeks that the public can weigh in and so I do you know do welcome the input of the public and even if, if it comes where we can't accommodate or meet the needs or the requests of individuals that doesn't mean that public input is not important it's very very important in Winnipeg Morgan Majeski City News